drove by so fast. And I only fell off the wagon once. I worked out six days this week. And that one day was yesterday. And I still did physical activity, but I didn't like do an actual workout. Okay, so this week I have tried really hard to drink lots of water, no soda, and nothing but water and my protein shakes. So no soda, no alcohol, no coffee, no nothing. Um, nothing but water and my morning protein shake. And I'm happy to say I accomplished that this week. I am so proud of myself. I relied on soda and um, the caffeine and soda and also coffee to get through my day. And I'm not doing that this week. I'm so proud of myself for that because it was such a huge accomplishment for me. And I have a lot of energy. So anyway, things are going really great. Um, I feel really, really good. And I already weighed in. And I have a picture of the scale next to a picture of the scale from last week. And also a side profile from week one and week two. Of, and I will insert those at the end of the video so you can see how much weight I've lost. It shocked me because in one week, I seriously didn't expect to lose more than five pounds. I, I didn't. I seriously thought, okay, if I lose five pounds a week... Or, and I know every week's going to fluctuate and I'm not going to lose as much some weeks and whatever. But I was like, if I even just lose five pounds, I will be so proud of myself. So I worked out six days this week and um, ate good, really good. I only cheated one, had a Philly cheesesteak, which is definitely not <laughs> diet food. Um, and it actually made me really sick after because I've been eating so healthy when I ate it. I, I was so sick. I, the rest of the day felt like crap yesterday. Like my stomach hurt so bad. And I, it was payback for cheating. I'm telling you, once you've been eating good and working out good, don't do it. It sucks. So um, other than that, things are going really great. I'm already feeling like I have changes in my body. Um, just little changes. But for me, like... I feel my muscles burning almost every single day, my abs especially, and I've been focusing a lot on that. So I feel like I've earned every single pound that I lost this week. I have worked my butt off this week for it. And so, oh, it's so amazing to feel that good and know that I've worked for it and that it wasn't just handed to me. I have worked really hard for it. So, um... I'm really excited for this next week, and I'm still sticking with the no gym thing. I'm just working at a home, and the reason for that, like, I know it's not bad to go to a gym, but I want to do this to prove that you can lose weight at home and that you don't need a gym to do it, that you can eat healthy and work out at home and still be a mom and still work, keep your house clean and, you know, work with your kids on things and and still accomplish big goals. And so I am going to work out at home because I want to do this a way that every other mom can do this. And no excuses. Like, there's no excuse. You can do this. If you don't have workout DVDs and your budget is tight, buy a cheap one. Save up 10 bucks and buy it because it could change your life. And even one day this week, I didn't use a workout video. I worked out to music, um, just some of my favorite jams, and I worked out a solid hour, and I just used, here you go, baby, I just used different techniques that I had learned in videos, and I worked my butt off. I was sweating so hard. That was on Wednesday, and so you don't even have to have that. You can, and also, you're watching YouTube right now. YouTube is an amazing, 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 amazing resource for workout videos. There are so many and they're free for you. So no excuses. Get your butt moving. That's what I've been doing and it's working. It is working. So I, I'm not like trying to be rude. I'm just saying stop making excuses. That's what I did for years and I'm done. I'm done making excuses and you should be too. So, get on YouTube. If you can't afford workout videos, no excuse. YouTube is free, and there are a lot of them on there. There's so many workout videos on YouTube. 
so many. There's even plus size workout videos on YouTube. There are so many workout videos. So stop making excuses. Start drinking water and get your butt moving. I'm doing the same and I cannot wait for next week's scale. I'm so excited. So now that you've watched this whole video and my spill on, <laughs> on working out, no excuses, now I'm going to tell you how much I lost this week. So, hi baby. From last Saturday, which was the 14th of February of 2015, to this Saturday, which is today, and I was wrong. In a video earlier in the week, I said it was Sunday, but it's really Saturday. So from Valentine's Day 2015 to now, which is the 21st of February 2015, so in exactly one week, I lost 9.9 .9 pounds in one week. If I can do it, you can do it. Because guess what? I'm not a fit person at all. So I started at 284, exactly 284.0 pounds. And I am now 274.1 pounds. So yes, that is almost, almost 10 pounds. I'm barely shy of 10 pounds in one week, you guys, one week of just watching what I'm eating. And I'm not starving myself. I'm eating a lot. I'm actually not counting calories. Not even one. I I don't want the stress of counting calories. So I've just been, hey, I've just been really, really paying attention to what goes in my mouth. What am I putting in my mouth to nourish my body? Eat to nourish your body. Don't eat to starve your body. Don't eat to you know, deprive yourself of things, nourish your body. If you nourish your body, you will not have as many cravings. I seriously did not crave chocolate or sweets at all this week. And I usually do. And I seriously was like waiting for that, like to have to fight back a craving. And I didn't like I had one non-fat yogurt, um, like a few bites of my son's earlier in the week at Costco. But other than that, like, I've just been really, really watching what goes in my mouth. Like, what am I putting in my mouth? Is it going to make me feel good or is it going to make me feel like crap? So if you do it that way, no counting calories. I do not give a freaking crap what the calories is. I don't care because I'm not worried about how many calories someone made some processed food to be. Like, the 100 snack pack type calorie things. It's a bunch of processed food. I don't want that in my body. So I'm trying to be conscious about what goes in my mouth. And here you go, baby. She's eating her breakfast right here in the hallway while I talk to you um, in her little bumbo seat. But anyway, um, be conscious about what goes in your mouth. Think about it. Like, are you going to eat a candy bar or are you going to eat some apple slices? Like... Be smart about it. They're both sweet. They both give you that satisfaction of like a crunch. And one is healthy, one is not. It's pretty simple. So be conscious about what goes in your body. That's what I've been doing. I've still been eating regular foods too. Like, for example, I had, um, I baked up some, I didn't grill, like fry or grill chicken, but I like baked them in the oven. Um, with nothing on them. Actually, I, I put a little pepper on them, but I didn't put like butter or anything. And they were really good. You just bake it in the oven. So I baked some chicken. And then my kids were all having spaghetti and little pieces of chicken. And so I just had a very small portion size of spaghetti. I'm not going to deprive myself from foods that I like because I don't want to starve myself and I don't want to gain the weight back. So I just am conscious about how much of it is going in my body. I ate a small serving of spaghetti and then a, a baked chicken breast and it was amazing. I felt so full. And one thing I've been trying to do too, someone said this to me once and so I just kind of have trying to implement it, is like eat one small, like a, a normal small portion size of food, not like a restaurant size, like a normal portion, one serving of food. And it, wait 20 minutes. If you're still hungry, eat a little bit more. But if you're not, like, don't eat until you're so stuffed that you cannot freaking move. Like, that's not going to do you any good. Don't eat like that. It's not good for you. And you feel like crap after. So what's the point? Eat smart. 
eat smart. That's my tip this week, eat smart. And work your booty off for what you want. I have been working so hard because I want this. So work hard for what you want, earn it. Don't expect it to just happen. You have to put work in to get results. You're not gonna get results if you just sit down and do nothing. You have to move. Move your body. Seriously, move your body, get moving, work out, feel good, feel healthy, and have cute babies. I have a cute baby, would you like to see her? She just woke up and so her hair's not done. And she has blonde curly hair and so when she sleeps, it's like, whoo, afro, look. Avia, Avia, hi. Hi, afro baby. Hi. You have a pretty cute afro going on. <laughs> I do do her hair. She just woke up like 15 minutes ago. Um, but yes, go work out. I'm going to go work out today. I am so proud of myself this week and I earned every single one of those pounds and I deserve to celebrate that. So I'm going to. I want to say too, like you don't even need like special clothes to work out either. Like if you got pajama pants and that's all you have, wear them. Heck, if you're home and you don't want to wear anything, don't wear anything. I don't care. Just work out. Get moving. Get going. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. Focus on the prize. Focus on the reasons you're doing this. Focus on why you want this. And I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to myself, too. I need to remember that every single day so that I can stay focused and stay driven and make this happen. Make it a great day, you guys. And I will do a one-take update sometime in the week. I'll do videos as often as I can. I am a mom and I am busy, but I want to keep y'all motivated. So watch the updates that I do throughout the week so that you can see progress. Maybe hear some things that I'm trying this week type of thing, but just stay focused, stay motivated and let's do this. Let's do it together. I I am really wanting this. And also, I was going to tell you, I would love to see video responses from you guys. So if you are doing this journey with me, please do video responses, even if they're just one take. I would love to watch them. I And if you're uncomfortable with having it publicly listed, do a private video, like mark it private, but do it as a response so that I can still watch it because I would love to see your journey too. And I would love to see your progress and see how you feel and yeah, so I'll insert some pictures now of my weigh-in and how, um, how like, my stomach, I, I noticed a change this week. And you can kind of see it in the pictures. My first picture isn't a dead-on, like, side profile, and so you can't see it as good as I feel. But I feel like I've changed this week, and change is always good. So make it a great week, and I will see you later on in the week. Bye, guys.